So yeah, here we go. Honeycomb is the map number two. A map that I absolutely love from its looks. It's really hitting that honeycomb thing quite nicely. And we have two teams that won the first round. So yeah, fighting for the victory in this tournament for sure. As we have Ships Girl Supremacy versus the Gamers. And we have quite a lot of stuff coming in here already. As these the uh, ships here on the left side of Ship Girl uh, Supremacy are quite interesting fleets. It's they have a hell of a lot of frigates with guns. And that's basically their fleet. And then they have one heavy cruiser. They have, I believe, 13 frigates. And then one heavy cruiser. What's on the other side? Gamers, we already saw in game number one. They are that mixed fleet of um, the OSP and the ASN. With one heavy cruiser, one line ship. These uh, plasma ships over here. That won't be of much use against... Anything but the heavy cruiser. So what these guys have to do is sniff out the heavy cruiser. But the map is a different one by a long shot. As this map is really, really big. And five zones. That's the only thing that it also has in common. But no zone directly in the middle. It has one on top. And it has two here relatively low. Quite close to the players. And then two uh, uh, side zones which are... At the point where both teams can get at the same time as well. E and D. And yeah, splitting up your forces into formations that act uh, allow you to capture enough points. While st still not getting decimated by enemies mm. is the key thing here. And as you can see here, yeah, a lot of frigates moving around. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, this heavy cruiser, the only big ship on ship, sub, uh, ship girl supremacy's team. As they have a good amount of guns here. They have a good amount of Cerisas, so they can shoot quite a couple of missiles as well there. But these small duo, duos of ships here are the interesting part. Like these small guns here, really gonna be interesting. As they're not gonna do much, most likely, against uh, the heavy cruiser. And there's also only shells here. There's, as you can see, no missiles whatsoever. But the capture game is really important on this map. And you can potentially see that coming out of a capture game. So, let's freaking go here. Let's freaking go. Points being really, really important. A and Cole coming around. And yeah, let's see how this goal goes. See how it all goes. Moving around slowly. D point, pretty important. It seems like D point gonna be the first one to capture. These frigates. The enemy is securing decently fast. Yeah, this one is a good combination of stuff for sure. Good amount of point defenses here. No fire control radar on top. No pinpoint there, but a parallax here inside. And then on these ships here, you have you see some fire, extra pulls like fire control radars added in. And yeah, these small ships are for sure gonna be interesting. Blue team. For sure, will go ahead in points here as they are moving towards C. And the red team will have to find a way of dealing with that. I mean, this ship alone 
has nearly as much firepower as the whole <laughs> other team. Uh, at least eight quadruple mounts here have a lot, a lot of firepower. And I would argue that this heavy cruiser here has a lot of killing power in this fight as well. But these shells, they have some fragmentation shells and so on as point defense here, basically. Like, that's how they defend against themselves against missiles. They have some extra point defenses as well. They have a good amount of jammers, so... Yeah, the frigate swarm can absolutely work. Golden Grace, moving around. And we have the Revenge sitting here pretty much alone. And that's not gonna end well for it. If it can get, uh, get its rockets on target, it still might pay for itself. Like, if it can take out one of the frigates, that would be fine for it. At least kill-wise. But it, obviously the bigger issue here is that they need to... Stop all the uh, all the conquests, or get themselves more conquests. I'm not quite sure what their plan is there. Is this ship? Like, I'm not sure where this line ship is trying to go. Why it is kept so far in defense? As we see, the sea point being captured now. These ships are spotted. So, Chip might be able to find them. Radar is right on top of these guys. Once the other ones will move on to the D, and then will be Breeze points versus only one for the Red Team. So, Red Team has to do something about that. We see the Plasma ships actually moving along down here. It seems like they want to hide the line ship. They want to keep this as a nasty surprise for the enemy. Line ship is slowly moving somewhere now. I want to see where that is going to be. As we have some sh shots being fired here now. Plasma going up there as well. As I said, Plasma not super helpful over here. So, yeah, they most likely won't achieve much. Uh, any damage can be done against the Corvettes, anyways. And also. Plasma will have a hard time hitting those. And yeah, Blue Team now capturing the third point of theirs. As it seems like the Red Team is trying to strike for Alpha. And maybe try to get a Triangle Alpha, a B point and C point. Better. They keep the Revenge alive, which is a wise choice. Like these rockets for sure can do some harm when if they find an enemy. But currently these ships here are not in firing at anything so they have their gun pots uh, their guns ready to shoot at any incoming rockets as well and the gun pot ship for sure would die in that fight as well and it's one of the few mobile forces that the red team has so keeping it alive really really valuable some slight damage here from the heavy cruiser but not many hits landed as the other heavy cruiser formation on the other side of this rock is keeping itself in position to shoot at any incoming stuff here. Gun turret ship. Floating around. And the line ship is now coming out to do some business. As we have this revenge going for E. And if you get E, A, B, that obviously also would be an advantage in point. So, yeah, controlling the spots here. Pretty important. Pretty important. Okay. We 
have the Calypso moving around down here. Plus my ship's coming around. Ship slowly moving. Heavy cruiser moving down he over here. I'm slow maneuvering over here. The frigate swarm will have to wait or really take the ref of all these ships on themselves here. Six frigates, but against the heavy cruiser, they still might struggle. First frigate gets fired upon. And plasma flying towards them as well. Missiles coming in as well, and we have the line ship really getting on it as well. But line ship with only 20 mm of armor might have to peer these shells somewhat. And the heavy cruiser though, that's the problem. And these ships currently not firing at anything. Yeah, blue team currently has the advantage in points, but that's not what they hoped for. A real rain of shells coming down here. A real rain of shells coming in there. And the first of these, of the Corvette Swarm, uh, of the Frigate Swarm, will bite the dust here in a second, most likely. As the rest is trying to find cover again. Heavy Cruiser coming in over here. First Frigate is down. Second one on the fire. Not sure why they're not firing at anything. Don't See the reason? Are they not in range? That's the reason why. As this frigate also gets completely melted away. These 100 millimeters, for sure, really doing a good job against these kind of ships. But blue team, over 100 points ahead by now, and taking on three flex. Like they have to go for that kind of victory. We don't see these guys here trying to go for E. Now we have one forward actually trying, a uh, frigate actually trying to go for E point, but it will have to be careful as the rocket pots in the 1v1 could have the upper hand here. They could have the upper hand if they get spotted too late. Well, we'll see how that one pairs. Guns over here. Moving around. We have shells running in from this side over here. Shots oh, trying to land on target. Ah, uh, not quite getting in. Plasma coming all around. Shots coming up, but against the monitors, they also won't achieve much. And this is the third Corvette now, fighting the dust over here. And the other one, as the heavy cruiser is now opening up fire, it outguns its opponent on the other side by a good bit. But the plasma is the issue, and the monitors here will now open up this heavy cruiser completely. Tonight, uh, from top to bottom, and then these 100 millimeters will have a really easy time melting this thing away. Oh, oh, that actually might have hit some ships of the enemy here. Yeah, yeah, these guys actually, <laughs> these guys actually got hit by the reactor explosion over here. Uh, not too much damage dealt, but they are slightly fried. And their armor is hit by it, as the heavy cruiser is running in here, is trying to capture dagger. Important question is, what happened over here? Huh? These two still moving around each other. 
This one actually trying to go for B point, not for E point. Well, it's the heavy cruiser really is eating a lot of plasma here now. But it is dishing out some damage here in return. 100mm is now coming in in a big, big salvo though. And with the armor melted away, it is dealing a lot of damage here. All the armor melted and yeah, this heavy cruiser is eating it now. Damage control central is taken out. The CIC is heavily damaged, needs quick repairs here. We also see a good couple of other parts of the ship heavily hit. The Mount Garros being taken out, that's annoying. But the CIC is really the important part and this ship here is having a lot of issues. Didn't quite dish out enough damage and the melting of its armor really well done by these two monitors. Allowing for great successes there in return. The line chip is just 100mm turrets, basically. One mm, uh, eight 100mm turrets. So it needed these two monitors to do their job, but they achieved that. And that is a really bad news here for the blue team, as they need that heavy cruiser. That heavy cruiser in a 1v1 against this heavy cruiser could have won it, because it was 7 versus 5 guns. And yeah, the frigates could potentially deal with anything else, but uh, the frigates can't deal with the heavy cruiser. And a blue team currently is having fewer points than red team. Red team also running already for a point. That might be a bit quick, but might keep them ahead in the, in the ticking game. As time is still absolutely there. Both sides going for capturing a lot of points. Plasma shots coming up here once more. This heavy cruiser is absolutely eating it. And more plasma landing all around. So the 100 millimeters absolutely can't pummel it now. Plasma once more landing. Yes, this is open from head to heel. Allowing these 100 millimeter shots to really do some damage. The enemy is securing zone boxer. This one is now getting a hit though. Yeah, this is what I would ex have expected a while ago. The 100 millimeters... Uh, mine ship eating up the heavy cruiser needed a reaction. The reaction is coming now. A lot of these small ships now coming in. And these line ships are not heavily armored. They have a good amount of hit points on everything, but they can be killed by these small guns. And as you can see, it starts to take some serious damage, especially the thrusters now starting to die off. With the turrets, that's not too much of a problem. It still will be able to fire onto a lot of targets. Plasma also now hitting these ships, starting to hit their cannons. Plasma not doing an insane amount of damage, but on the outside things like cannons, it still can do some work. We also have some missiles coming in here. Uh, that's going to be interesting, as I don't believe these ships turned off their systems. And no, the missiles are hitting. So, yeah, the missiles go and strike home. And that is a big, big problem here for the blue team now. As they start to lose even more of their frigate swarm, which was their one advantage. They started to hit some systems here. But it they came in too late here, as their heavy cruiser is heavily hurt. Heavy cruiser on the other side, still absolutely fine. Missiles coming in for the heavy cruiser now as well. And it's absolutely stranded. Its CIC is back online. Its point defenses will try their best. Ah, Sarisas might save them from these missiles. Okay, yeah, the Sarisas doing the job here. So the missiles won't be hitting home, but the guns alone should be able to do the job in the long run. Yes. It's only two frigates here now. If all four of the frigates would have been around, I would have said this would have been quite problematic for the line ship, but the one versus two should be an absolutely fair fight for it. As it is starting to pummel the first one here. And as you can see, the amount of bullets flying here within one salvo are uh, about enough to really cripple one of these hardcore already. Whilst the line ship itself. Yes, it starts to take damage. Actually, taking good damage to the CIC, which is reinforced though, so it can uh, take it for quite a while. 
A couple of point defenses, a couple of flak turrets and so on killed off as well. Uh, but this corvette here already biting the dust. Only one uh, uh, frig of the frigates remaining now. Some more shots coming in from somewhere else. Yes, the heavy cruiser here is fighting some more frigates. Uh, but the frigates of the blue team slightly better at killing this and they actually also captured alpha here with the spanker big question is where's the rocket ship rocket ship captured alpha is now under fire it still does it still have the rockets no it shot all its rockets on something i'm not sure if it hit i don't believe it did plasma here trying its best to melt away this ship they actually do some damage here not an insane amount but it's enough potentially to Triple this ship in the long run, but the revenge has been taken out. Might allow blue team for getting for the capture point, and the capture point game really is their only hope for winning here in my eyes. As they took out the revenge, that is a really important victory, as that might allow the spanker to get up here and capture this point. And red team still needs to capture D. Red team needs to get capture B back, uh, so they have to keep their monitors alive, and they might have to. Split up their frigates as well, trying to send one for C. Losing all four frigates over here is really brutal though. As you can see, uh, Captain Mediocre's fleet has been reduced to only two frigates by now. One of them really going down over here now as well. I get dove really deep into these monitors. Monitors somewhat damaged, but still going just fine. As the red team now is capturing back D point, but blue team still has a good point advantage and is going for the E point, which point they will have a, uh, a three versus two point advantage once more. Tugboat over here though could potentially run into C point. Yeah, with the loss of all four frigates from up north without killing anything with it, uh, that was a big blow and the heavy cruiser won't make it for much longer here as well. It needs to run, needs to hide as we now have a good amount of seven ships versus only five on the other side potentially only four in a second uh, for the blue team so the red team just needs to capture the points the enemy secured zone dagger. okay three versus two it should in the long run already work out but more points need to be captured more points need to be secured all ten ships of captain mediocre wiped out here Good battle plan so far from the red when it comes to fighting the enemy. Now they just have to beat the enemy fully. As we see the 100mm here now. Still hitting the opened up side. And both sides by now have eaten a lot of plasma. And actually might be able to hit the engine here quite nicely. Well, line ship not quite having the angle anymore with the enemy here and E point for sure will be captured but the tugboat should be able to move up north now and that is what it starts doing now if that captures C this game should be somewhat secure here for the team in red B point also should be somewhat easy to capture not sure why the monitors walk over here they could just go for the B point and I guess that's where they're starting to move now but the last fleet is trying to hunt down this the fleet over here is trying to hunt down this heavy cruiser which is down to one functioning turret and that functioning turret might not even have ammo available no the magazine is still functioning so yeah they have one double gun turret Okay. Big oof. Big explosion here. Actually. <laughs> the revenge exploding here. As the heavy cruiser is really eating it. Uh, we will see E point captured soon. 
but red team is catching up. The heavy cruiser not quite making it in there as its CIC just got shut out just before it entered a, a, a point. If it would have captured A point and they would have captured E point like close to it before the others get anywhere close to B and C, they might still have potentially gotten a nice amount of capture points here that could have with a short while of 4 to 1 tick. It could have maybe potentially still gotten it them the victory, but without A point. And I don't see how they capture that mm -hmm. now. Um, I don't see how that works out. This ship here seems to be dead in the water as well. One over here trying to capture B point or secure B point gets shot up now by the monitors over here who are hitting it with some more plasma. Plasma does really not do that much damage here. But still good enough to take out the cannon over here. Kill out some outer systems and yeah, Heavy Cruiser is down over here now. Eclipse is getting captured, but in a second we should see C and B falling on the other side. With only one ship still in relatively good condition. That's the one in C. A point will stay. These ships here now moving with 30 with flank speed towards B point, 30 meters per second. Ship up here, 30 meters per second as well. Should get into C point at any minute now. So here we go. Rob Ross getting the capture the capture point the over here. But Boxer and C are both getting captured now. It's one ship versus seven. And it's this ship over here that is going to go down. And yeah. The heavy cruiser will get its guns on target here, and then this will be the end of the boy over here. Missiles also trying to come out here. Plasma still flying. Well, is the plasma still flying? Are they out of ammo? No, plasma still flying. They actually still have a lot of plasma around left. Okay. Uh, active decoy coming out there. Enemy secured zone coming. Oh. What just exploded? Uh, I guess it was the heavy cruiser there. Okay. Yeah. Heavy cruiser did just explode. Yes. Yeah, this one is dead now as well. Four points. Versus one, that's not good enough. The last ship trying to get towards C, I guess. Trying to desperately keep some capture points alive, but now four versus one. They make six points up every five seconds. And the advantage that blue team has has melted away already heavily. It's only 60 points now, so only a couple of ticks now. So that is evened out. Only about a minute until Red Team has overtaken or is having an advantage over Team Matt in points as well. As it is really one last remaining frigate here. But on the other side, they only lost one ship in this whole battle. They took a bit of damage on some of theirs, but the line ship doing so well was the, the big issue of the other team. Like a couple of frigates being uh, uh, eaten up too easily over here. These four frigates getting killed by missiles before they could put the damage on the line ship. Big issue there. Big, big issue there. And yeah, giving up the E point early on. I'm not sure why they, they could have played the capture game better in my eyes. Not sure why they didn't send two ships towards E as well. Um, get more of a point advantage and then play more from behind rocks. Yes. The firepower for sure was in the favor of the red team here. 
and they are now really getting close to having the advantage on points as well. <laughs> Last small ship up here, as it has been found now. The line ship is starting to fire on top of it, and yeah, this is going to be the end of it. Line ship doesn't seem to have a lock on yet, so it's just firing into the air. Some of these shots will hit, but accuracy currently still really, really bad. But it is closing in. It's closing the distance, and once it is close enough, these shells will start to land better. Here we go. More and more shells landing, and these will rip apart this ship quite quickly. Plasma also coming in now, like everything is firing on top of on, on this ship now. Heavy cruiser shells, any of these, doing insane amount of damage. You can see there, like, half of the ship flared up by each of the hit, like... A lot of the systems in the rear taking damage there. Now the front is getting completely melted away by 100mm shells. As this ship is going to die now here really, really quickly. Plasma landing on top of it as well. Melting its abysmal armor to, be, uh, to begin with away completely. And yeah, this ship here already basically dead inside. As the last couple of rounds here. We'll finish it off and we have the gamers winning this game, uh, this round as well. Okay. And that means we have round number two finished off. Okay. That is quite interesting. As the gamers go ahead. And they will face late to the party. They will face another cruiser fleet on Avora. That was quite the battle here. Yeah, the line ship doing fantastic. As round number three is looking as follows. Ship Girl Supremacy versus Bismarck. Bismarck currently need of a replacement. If you want to 